ਹੱਸਦੇ ਚਿਹਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਦ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਇਫ ਆਈ ਕੀਪ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਡਰਾਇੰਗ ਸਰਕਲਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਸ਼ੇਪ ਆਫ ਸੈਲਸ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਰਕਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਨ ਦ ਸ਼ੇਪ ਆਫ ਸਰਕਲ ਓਨਲੀ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਜ਼ੀਰੋ ਫੋਕਡ ਅਪ ਵਿਥ ਆਲ ਥੈਟ ਡਰਗ ਨੇਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਨਾਟ ਐਂਡ ਸਮਵਨ ਜਸ ਬੈਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਸ ਆਈ ਜਸ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸਲੀਪ ਆਈ ਸਲੈਪਟ ਲਾਈਕ 4 ਆਵਰਸ ਥੈਟਸ ਇਟ so yeah we are trying to fix it with ice and bandages and something something but our syllabus is not being fixed and neither it is being completed and i'm being frustrated and i don't have time anymore this guy told me to wake him up at 10:50 and now the time is 10:53 is it lifting the phone <laughs> nobody is passing this exam good day हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल आई एम अखिल राज सेकंड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट स्टडीइंग एट गांधी मेडिकल कॉलेज सिकंदराबाद एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना स्टडी फॉर काउंटलेस आवर्स स्नूज माय अलार्म्स एंड गो टू द एग्जाम ऑल स्लीप डिप्राइव्ड एंड दिस पार्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ इज कॉल्ड द एग्जाम सीजन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड देयर वाज लेस देन अ वीक लेफ्ट फॉर प्री फाइनल सो आई वोक अप एंड केम टू द लाइब्रेरी टू गेट सम स्टडीइंग डन एंड एज आई टोल्ड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई फिनिश्ड रीडिंग पैथोलॉजी एंड माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड नाउ आई स्टार्टेड रीडिंग फार्माकोलॉजी वेन एवर आई स्टडी फॉर लॉन्ग अवर्स आई प्रीफर लाइब्रेरी मोर देन माई रूम बिकॉज इन द लाइब्रेरी देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ एटमोस्फियर वेर एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू रीड एंड डू देर वर्क एंड बी प्रोडक्टिव एंड सीन देम गिवस मे अटल बिट ऑफ मोटिवेशन वेन एवर आई एम डिस्ट्रेक्टेड एंड प्रोटेक्ट फॉर पीपल गोइंग टू द लाइब्रेरी डोंट टेक योर इयरफोन्स विथ यू एंड यू वोट बी एबल टू एंजॉय एनी कंटेंट इन द लाइब्रेरी बिकॉज यू कैंट हियर द ऑडियो एंड दैट हेल्प्स यू बी लेस डिस्ट्रेक्टेड दिस वर्क फॉर मी आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू गाइज इट मे वर्क फॉर यू इट मे नॉट वर्क फॉर यू सो जस्ट गिव इट अ ट्राई एंड देन आई वेंट डाउन टू द पैथोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट टू सबमिट माई रिकॉर्ड And the time is currently 4:50 and I spent the last 1 and 1/2 hour recorrecting all the diagrams because after I submitted the record right after like 30 minutes or something sir called me and told that all the diagrams were wrong and now we are redrawing all the diagrams and I have pre finals in 4 days and I haven't studied anything for pharma paper 1 or paper 2 hasde chehreyan da matlab eh nahi hunda ki unnu kitte koi takleef nahi hundi all unnecessary activities keep coming up right before exams but ट्वेंटी because it's about time that library closes and it's also quite late so ghar jayenge we'll take some rest and then again start studying or actually i have to complete record so we'll do that let's go a few hours later uh, hi guys i'm finally done with the record i have been writing it since i came back home i came back home at around 6:30 or 6:40 something and i've been writing it and the time is currently 9:40 मतलब तीन घंटे वेस्टेड ओवर दिस रिकॉर्ड एंड आई हैव माय प्री फाइनल इन फोर डेज भाई यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है भाई यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है भाई बट जो भी है दिस शुड बी करेक्टेड अदरवाइज आई एम गिविंग अप आई वोंट राइट इट एनी मोर बिकॉज आई हैव टू स्टडी आई डोंट नो व्हाट आई विल राइट इन द एग्जाम इफ आई कीप राइटिंग दिस एंड ड्राइंग सर्कल्स इन द शेप ऑफ सेल्स आई विल गेट माय मार्क्स आल्सो इन द शेप ऑफ सर्कल ओनली दैट इज अ बिग जीरो The next day I went to the college and thankfully my record got submitted and I got back home and did some editing and finished the video and then started studying. I wish I could retain this magical ability of studying for long hours before exams even after exams. Like I think all of us have experienced our true potential the few days before exams like we can study and complete so many tasks at once but the stress is just too much causing hair fall and all that so it's not worth it in the long run So could you stay a while cuz I need you baby it's so vacant you're not present and that ends this day and the next day i went to the library and sat down to study with 3 days left for the exam the pressure was high and there was a huge chunk of syllabus waiting to show me stars in the daytime
another night, another fight How do you feel? Are you hurting? Maybe we should take some time I think I tend to take you for granted But I think with me you're misunderstanding You say you think you might just And after that amazing session in the library, I made my way back home and ordered some biryani as a reward for my brain for working so hard without being distracted. And then I called it a day. The next day. Hello guys, the time is currently 5.17 and I just woke up from my afternoon nap. I slept for about two and a half hours. So we have a lot to cover up. So let's start studying. With only two days left for the exam, I was under a lot of pressure, but that's what is helping me sit for longer hours and do my work so fast and be very productive. I studied the entire evening and night and tried to cover the syllabus as much as possible. And I was actually doing good. Thanks to library, I got so much work done there itself. And that ends another day in the preparation of this exam and there is only one day left after this. The next day. Chala guys, good morning. We are down to just one day. Now we have to study some things and then in the afternoon I'll go to the college. We'll sit in the library. We'll do some revision and get ready for tomorrow's exam. Tomorrow we have exam in the morning at 10 o'clock. So exactly 24 hours are left. Let's go. Hello guys, I just now got ready for college. Now we'll have our lunch and then go to college. In the morning, I read for about two and a half an hour and that was good. Now I'll go to college, sit in library and then revise everything and get ready for exam. Let's go. I went to the college and purchased some answer booklets for the exam and then I went to the library and few of my friends were already studying there. So I went and joined them. फिलहाल इतना ही आपकी जरा मैं भी मायूस हूँ लेकिन उम्मीद पर दुनिया कायम है दिल दुखा है लेकिन टूटा तो नहीं है और उम्मीद का दामन छूटा तो नहीं है Okay, enough of the jokes. We all did study because obviously we can't just give up. So let's play some fast beat music and take the syllabus down. Hello guys, back to home. The time is currently 8.16 and I have been studying since the afternoon continuously. I started at 2 o'clock, then I had a short break in the beach. After that, I am directly stopping at 8 o'clock. That means easily 5 to 6 hours of study round off. And in the morning, I studied for about 2 and a half hours. So it's like total 8 hours today. And still, we have around 4-5 hours if I stay up till 1 or 2. Then, We'll get almost 12 or 13 hours of study. So yeah, pressure is building up. A few hours later. Guys, the time is 10 o'clock and I studied like two or three pages in the past. What can I say? One and a half an hour because I had my dinner. So let's say 45 minutes or something. So I'm not exactly in the mood to study because I've been studying continuously in the library whole afternoon and also the evening. So my mind is a little distracted and also very Fogged up with all that drug names and interactions and whatnot. So basically, we ice cream kaiyenge. We'll take a break. I'm taking a break only from that time. 
So I finally started studying seriously and did some revision and I feel like we are never ready for an exam complete like no matter the amount of time we get we are always worried about some or the other topic that might appear in the exam and we are always in stress the day before exam anyways the studying went on till 2 o'clock in the night and then I went to bed the next day good morning guys the time is currently 6:53 yeah, that means I have 1 hour to study for exam because at 8 to 9 i have to get ready and by 9:30 i have to reach to the college and then at 10 o'clock we will have our exam let's go a few hours later Hello guys, the pharma paper one is done. I came back home, I had my lunch and now I am sitting down to study. I wrote the paper pretty well, but I don't want to jinx it. So I think I may fail, I think I may pass, I don't know. So let's leave it like that and just focus on paper two because I did not study anything. I kept my complete focus on paper one. So now we'll do a paper two something something, karke. we'll do long answer questions, something like that. And we'll go to the exam. Chill, let's go. So oh, I did not record much, but the entire evening I spent studying for the paper and it went on till one in the night and then I woke up, did some last minute cramming and then went straight to the exam hall. Hello everyone, another exam done and the exam did not go as well as the paper one because obviously I did not prepare for it. So I'm not worrying about it also because if you don't prepare, you won't write. So expected outcome doesn't matter a lot. So now we we'll leave pharma aside and now focus on micro and the paper is going to be day after tomorrow. So let's go. I was very sleepy and tired from two continuous exams. So I couldn't study much that day. So I went to bed early. Good morning everyone, I haven't slept properly in the past two days so I took a very long sleep of 10 hours and I am completely recharged now. So we did not study properly anything yesterday. Today we will be studying for micro paper 1. I got my watermelon juice for breakfast and I will do a early lunch by 12 o'clock and then we will leave for the library. Then again sit till the evening in the library and finish off some syllabus and get ready for exam. So let's go. And just like that the studying went on for 6 hours without any breaks and then it was evening and I was hungry so I went to a bakery and got some snacks and then made my way back home. Then the rest of the evening and night I kept studying. And the next day I did some last minute cramming right before entering the exam hall. The exam got finished, I came back home and we have successfully completed 3 papers so we are halfway through and now let's prepare for the next exam. And I studied till 2.30 in the night and then I set my alarms for 6am to 7.45am because I know I won't listen to half of them and when I start listening I snooze few of them so it's necessary for me to keep so many alarms and just as I said the next day morning I woke up at 7am. Can someone just ban exams? I just want to sleep. I slept like 4 hours. That's it. After the exam I was literally drowning in sleep and I came back home and just jumped on the bed and that day just went away in sleeping and the next day I got to the desk and started studying. The next day. So the paper went pretty okay when compared to the other papers. 
so yeah we are done with paper 1 and now i'll have my lunch and then take some rest and then we'll prepare for paper 2 and that will be the last theory paper of pre finals then we'll have practicals after 5 or 4 days i guess so yeah nothing to worry about chalo last exam i hope i don't procrastinate in the last exam syndrome and i'll see you after taking some rest bye Hello guys life update the time is currently 10:20 and i am reading from chat gpt because my syllabus isn't completed and my hand is hurting like hell because for some reason my thumb joint is inflamed or something and i'm having a lot of pain so yeah we are trying to fix it with eyes and bandages and something something but our syllabus is not being fixed and neither it is being completed and i'm being frustrated and i don't have time anymore तुमसे ना हो पाएगा दिस गाय टोल मी टू वेक एम अप एट टेन फिफ्टी एंड नाउ द टाइम इज टेन फिफ्टी थ्री इज इट लिफ्टिंग द फोन नो वी इज पासिंग दिस एग्जाम गुड नाइट and just as i said the paper didn't go well and after the exam me and my friends went out to celebrate the end of this disaster and got some biryani and if you felt this exam vlog was good then you should definitely watch this internal exam vlog because it's the best one on my channel and if you want to watch the first episode of pre final vlog then click this video and practical is going to be even more funny because there is going to be viva so subscribe and stay tuned to the channel see you next wednesday until then bye bye